Next part of this question says using a matrix method solve the simultaneous equations. And you have these pairs of simultaneous equations. So you're going to be using a matrix method. First of all, write it in matrix form. Ri write the equations in matrix form. So you're going to have Remember, this is 2 times x. So you multiply one matrix by another equal to another matrix. 2 times x. Remember, when you're multiplying, it is first in row 1 times first in column 1. So first in row 1 is 2 times the first in column 1 here is x plus 3 times y. The first, the second times second here. So it's going to be 3 times y. Down here, negative 5x. So it's going to be a negative 5 down here times the x. First in row 2 times first in column 1. So what you have is negative 5 times x plus this number multiply by y. The second in row 2 times the second in column 1. So it's going to be 1 because it's just y. It really means 1y. But you don't bother to write the 1 there. Equals, you have 5 at the top and 13 at the bottom here. Now, you're going to just take out these... Um, plus signs because they're they were just there to help to form the matrix so the matrices that you have are really 2 3 5 1 multiplied by x y is equal to 5 13 all right after that if you can if you imagine dividing both sides by this matrix you would get x y is equal to 5 13 divided by 2 3 negative 5 1 but it would the 2 3 negative 5 1 would cancel itself here when you divide it well the thing now is you can't divide them directly like that so it's going to be the reciprocal, the inverse of this matrix times the 513. That's what you're going to have to do. So you're going to have 2, 3, negative 5, 1 inverse times 513. But then you consider that you cannot multiply them like this. You, you, the row by column is not going to work, so you'd have to put the 513 in the second position for the multiplication to work. So it's going to be 513 here. Good. And you can work this out. But you'll have to find the, the um, inverse of this, first of all. What's the determinant? The determinant, if you call this matrix A, right? A is equal to this matrix. If you make this A, then the determinant of A is going to be, you remember how to do it? It's AD minus BC. A, B, C, D. Going to be AD minus BC. So 2 by 1 minus 3 by negative 5 all right so 2 once 2 minus 3 by negative 5 negative 15 it becomes 2 plus 15 which is 17 so the determinant is 17 now let's continue using this space coming up here all right 
Let me just kind of separate this a bit. Continue working here. What you have is x y is equal to 1 over the determinant 1 over 17 times interchange A and D interchange these then change the sign of B and C alright so 1 comes here and 2 goes down here positive 3 becomes negative 3 negative 5 becomes positive 5 and that will multiply 5 13 all right now i could multiply the 1 over 17 by the 1 negative 3 5 2 but i don't want too many fractions it can be quite confusing and make you prone to make more mistakes so i'm going to multiply these two matrices first so it's 1 by 5 so the product is going to be 1 by 5 5 plus negative 3 by 13 negative 3 times 13 then here 5 by 5 plus 2 by 13 all right now let's continue make by making space down here we have limited space erase these so continuing down here now let me just I don't want to erase this part up top yet so let me just separate it with a line here x y is really 1 over 17 times 5 by negative 3 5 by negative 3 gives you negative 15 no it's not 5 by negative 3, it's plus. It's 5 plus negative. It's 3 by 13 is 39. And at the bottom, 5 times 5 is 25 plus 13 twos, 26. Alright, so what I have is 1 over 17 times. Uh, what is 5 plus negative 39? Well, it's going to be 5 minus 39, which is negative 35. And then you have 25 plus 26. So you have 25 plus 26 will give you 51. So, what you have here then is 35 over 17 and then 51 over 17. Alright? Now, let's just review here, make sure we didn't make a mistake. 2, 3, negative 5, 1, x, y equal 5, 13. Then you say. Well, who wouldn't be able to review it? We have erased what we had before. But what really happened here is that the reciprocal of the, the determinant was 2 by 1 AD minus BC to 1 2 minus negative 15. 2 minus negative 15 is positive 17 because it's 2 plus 15. So it's 1 over 17 times, interchange 1 and 2, alright, 1 comes up here, 2 goes down here, they switch position from here, change the sign of B and C, positive 3 becomes negative 3, negative 5 becomes positive 5, then multiply by 5, 13, 1 by 5, plus negative 3 by 13 so that's 5 plus negative 3 by 13 so that's 5 
plus negative 3 3 is 9 3 1 all right good then 5 by 5 plus 2 by 13 that's 25 plus 13 2 is 26 good so I have 5 minus 39 oh guess what 5 minus 39 is not 35 it's 34 why well, I put 35 here should be 34 instead of 35 right I was expecting to get a clean nice number and I was wondering why not Thir seven, 35 over 17 would not come out as a clean nice whole number but 34 over 17 would right so now multiply the 1 over 17 by what is inside the bracket in the matrix here I got negative 34 over 17 up top and 51 over 17 down here so what is 34 over 17 it's 2 so it's negative 2 51 over 17 is a 3 so x at the top equal negative 2 at the top so x is equal to negative 2 y at the bottom is equal to 3 at the bottom so it's y equal 3 wonder if it works out all right 2 times x 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4 just testing it plus 3 times 3 9 negative 4 plus 9 5 good the top equation works out let me test this to see if it's all right Remember, maybe in exam you wouldn't have the time to be testing it but I'm not limited in time now so uh, test this thing uh, negative 5 by x negative 5 by negative 2 give you a positive 10 plus 3 10 plus 3 is 13 right so x equals 2 y equals 3 is the solution set to the matrix